Welcome, let us work out this question on propagation of errors. So let's go straight to the question. So the measurements uh, are given here. That is uh, the length and the width of a rectangle are stated as 18.5 and 12.4 centimeters respectively. Both measurements are given to the nearest 0 0.1 centimeter. Part A of the question, determine the lower and the upper limit of each measurement. And uh, the second part is calculate the percentage error in the area of the rectangle. So let's go to the first part of the question. Determine the lower and the upper limit of each measurement. Now to get the upper and the lower limit, we need to get the error in each of the measurement. Now to get the error uh, in each of the measurements, uh, this is what you're going to do. So the error will be given by a half multiplied by the smallest uh, unit of measurement in this question as given is 0 0.1. And therefore the error will be 0 0.05. So to get the lower and the upper limit of each measurement, uh, we shall use this as the error. This is the absolute error in each of those measurements. Therefore, now uh, if it is the length, the length uh, will lie between uh, this this is 18.5 plus or minus 0 0.05. So this gives uh, the limit to be uh, 18.55. And uh, if you subtract, you get this one will be 18.45. So that is uh, both the upper and the lower limits. So let's go to the width and see what you're going to get there. So for the width, again, uh, this one is 12.4. And the error in each of those measurements is the same since uh, all of them are given to the nearest 0 0.1, 0 0.05. So the limit will be 12.45 and uh, this is a 12.35. So to get these two, you just add uh, and subtract 0 0.05. So these are the limits. These are the limits uh, for this one. This is the the upper is 18.55. The lower for that part is 18.45, and so on. So after we get that, uh, let's go to the second part of the question, where you're required to get uh, calculate the percentage error in the area of the rectangle. Now, how do you get the percentage error? Percentage error is given by the absolute error over the actual the actual area multiplied by 100 that is how you're going to get it now the first thing would be to get the absolute error in calculation of the area and in calculation of the area because that is a multiplication uh, the error will be given by a half this uh, maximum area minus the minimum area so that is how we're going to obtain the absolute error so we need to get uh, both the maximum area so maximum area will be given by we're going to use the upper limits for the maximum so 18.55 18 0.55 multiply by the upper for the width is 12.45. Uh, so that is what will give the maximum area. And when you work out that using the calculator, you get 230, 230.9475. Uh, so the next thing is to get the minimum area. For the minimum area, we shall use uh, the lower limit 
uh, for the length is 18.45 18.45 multiply by the lower for the width 12.35 it's 12.35 and these when you multiply it again using the calculator um, you shall get 227 227.8575 So after getting both the minimum and the maximum, so it's time to get now the absolute error, which will be given by how, as indicated earlier on, the maximum is 230.9475 minus the minimum, which is 227.8575. So again, working out this using the calculator, um, you get 1.545. So that is the absolute uh, error in calculation of the area. Now we need to get something else, which is um, the actual area. The actual area will be obtained by using the actual measurements. And the actual measurements of this uh, rectangle the length is 18.5 and the width is 12.4 the original those are the original measurements and when you work out these you multiply uh, you get 229.4 229.4 now we have everything that we require now in order to calculate the percentage error we have the absolute um, error in calculation of the area we have the actual area and we have, um, I think everything is there. We just need to multiply that by 100 and get the answer. So let's go now. Therefore, the percentage error will be given by the absolute error, which we obtained as 1.545, 1.545 uh, divided by the actual the actual area is 229.4 and we multiply this by 100 and when you work out this using the calculator you work out this using the calculator you get uh, 0.6735 percent and that is how you're supposed to work out that question on propagation of error so thank you so much thank you everyone for watching remember to subscribe to the channel please consider to leave a comment and a like to all the videos that you watch and let us keep learning